Shalom. Kahala Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, or Hakwadash. Double honors to our teachers, the head apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, teaching in truth, society, and diligence for the sake of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Lord, when this lesson may be edifying and straight to the point. You know, and I just checked that time out, man. 11 11, man. Nothing but destruction coming, man. Hey, well, Apostle Ha said this the year. You know, that we hoping that all prophecy come to pass. You know, and all prophecy, man. Blackouts, the destruction of America, you know, the insurrections. Hey, it's really, it's for to go down, man. You see, hey, the, the miracle, spiritual power, you really, you feel to see it, it's for to go down, man. Yeah, that sword that's been sharpened, man, it's for to go down. Hey, and these niggas in the spirit of mirth. You just celebrated first Christmas. No, nah, first thing's killing. Then you had your weak ass Christmas where your family really beefing. You know, and motherfuckers got to try to put the feelings aside to being the jolly spirit that shit off. You know, then now you just celebrated your New Year's. Which this ain't the New Year's, but, you know, just follow Esau, man. Esau going to lead your ass right to death, man. You see? But yeah, but now this the year that we hoping that all things come to pass, man. The deliverance, yeah, we finna get up out of here. You see, this second Ezra 16 and verse 37, he said, Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. You see? Hey, because that's what's for the come down the pipes for you Americans. And you two thirty so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Indians that refuse to repent and return to y'all by Shem and acknowledge you the Israelites. You want to stay Christians and shit. Well, look, the plague is drawing now, man. And they ain't slacking. They coming, man. You see the MOTB, the mark of the beast, which is the RFID CHIP. You see it now. It's out there. You see the missiles, man. The missiles on the scene. Yeah, which that's going to contribute to the destruction of America. You know, you see the, the, the morale of the people. Declining more and more people waxing worse and worse. The ideology of these people, the philosophies that they subscribe to, everything is just on the decline, man. Because the players they drawing out ain't slacking. He says, as a woman, as a woman with child in the ninth month, bring forth her child with two or three hours of her birth. Great pains can pass her about. No, the women, the women who had kids or the brothers who. Have children that have been around when their child was born. They know this moment, man. You see the Lord paint the picture for you. In that moment, when them contractions start to come in. Yeah, that water break. You see? You say, which, uh, which pains? When the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. Yeah, so when it's time to go, it's time to go. Yeah, we got to rush out to the hospital. We got to get her to the, you know, we got to get her in the room. You know, we feel the baby coming, the baby coming. That's how these that's how these plagues coming, man. That's how the famine coming. That's how the insurrection, seditions, the the uh, World War Three, the blackouts. You know, they distress. That's how all this shit coming. It's for to come, and it ain't slacking out a moment. It's for to hit you, man. Full impact, and we bracing for it in the spirit, man. That's why we do the videos. That's why you watch the videos. That's why you read, man. You see, that's bracing for impact. You know, because you got you to brace in the spirit. Niggas girding up in the flesh. Niggas buying water. They stock, stocking up with food and shit. They ain't going to hold up, man. You might got to bounce. You might got to get up out the crib. And then you're going to take what you can get. Yeah, you got a little bug out bag and shit. How you know you're going to be able to make it to the crib to get that? What if you're not at the house? It might just pop off when you at work. Your neighborhood locked down. You can't go in the neighborhood. You know what I mean? You got to gird up in the spirit, man. You see? He said, even so, verse 39, even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth. And the world shall mourn. You see? And sorrows shall come past. Uh, it's like, and sorrows shall come upon it on every side, man. So this was fit to come upon the world, man. You know, and not just only uh, the world, uh, mainly here in America. This the main event, man. This the most famous land in the Bible. America, Babylon the Great. 
Hey, this is the, this is the uh, we say the um, <clears throat> the lady of uh, lady of kingdoms, some along those along those lines. It's like it. Hey, Esau feel like he ain't gonna never be touched. When you say I see the queen and am no widow and should see no sorrow. That's how they feeling here, man. Hey, but the Lord said what? He said, and the world shall mourn and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. You can't start the prophet. You can't offset prophecy. It's coming, man. And it's wide on. You know, the only thing you can do is brace in the spirit, man. You got to be ready for it, man. And you, you got to be, man. You... Hey, because if you if you are hoping in salvation, you know, hey, you got to be, you got to look to be put in a position where your Yahweh Shemiah can come save you, man. Well, where your Yahweh can come save you. You see, because he the deliverer. That's his element. That's what he work at. You know what I mean? He get off on delivering people. You see? So, hey, we say look at the generations of old and see. The Lord sending birds. You know what I mean? The Lord getting off on that. He teleporting brothers to feed. The Lord, that's that's how the Lord operate, man. These Christians got the Lord in the box. You see? But the spirit, man, we, hey, when you meet Yahweh Shai, man, you learn. Hey, Yahweh Shai out there. And, and you, you got to learn from the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, man. And on down the like-minded brothers that's following out there in that same doctrine. Yeah, continuing the apostles' doctrine, man. You know? But yeah, hey, just some quick through the spirit. You know, they just hopped on my spirit. I had to go into it, man. Lord, we know edifying to the elect and to those seeking salvation. Lord, Lord, you have a shot. You know, real quick. I don't want to close out yet. Real quick. I just want to get this. Because I, I was saying, gird up in that spirit. You got to put that arm on, man. Because it's a battle we in. The Lord is a man of war. It's a battle we in. You know? Ephesians 6 and 11. Matter of fact, verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Yeah, you got to be under the, uh, pretty much at harmony with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh With his will, man. His will, his way. You see? Put on the whole armor of the Most High. That ye, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Yeah, the trickery of the devil. Because that's what's for to come down. Hey, we finna go to war. This nigga finna come with all type strategies and snares. He finna cut off convenience to get you to bow down. Yeah, you gotta stay ten toes down. For, you know what I mean? What we saving our life for? Shit, the kingdom ahead, man. Fuck, fuck America, man. You know? For, hey, verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. The Lord put you on game. We wrestling against Esau Edom, man. You know, and his spiritual wickedness. You see, they they hey, this uh Yeah, his spiritual wickedness, man. You see his enchantments? All this shit. He put out these celebrities. That's the snap jake, man. Sports center and shit. That's the snap jake. They have you thinking like, yeah, this is what life of, they ain't, they ain't, they ain't life, they don't hold up to what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai about, man. You know, verse 13, he said, wherefore take unto you the whole armor of the Most High Yahweh, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. You see, that's what's for the befallers, man, the evil day. And you got to have the armor of the Lord on. You can't be girded up with no AR. You know, that's a car right there with the, with the bulletproof vest on. You no know, nigga got the the forty cal on his hip. That that that's Esau shit. That ain't gonna hold up, man. You can penetrate through that. You know. But hey, the armor of the Most High. He said, "Well, for take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, Yahweh, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, stand therefore having your loins girded about with truth." And having on the breastplate of righteousness. So this was going to hold us up, man. Yeah, this truth going to hold us up. You see? He's saying your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shell of faith. Because that faith going to activate what? That faith going to activate your Yahweh Shah, man. You know? And we looking for your Yahweh Shah to come through with the power, man. We say without faith, it is impossible to please, you know what I mean, the most high. You can't even please your by Shemiah Shah if you ain't got faith. He ain't coming through if you ain't got faith that he coming through. You know? 
you waving in the spirit, you know, you just hoping, but your hope more so geared towards you in fear, like, you know what I mean? You hope the Lord come through, but you really scared as fuck, like, you don't really think he gonna, like, I hope this shit work, like, fuck all that, man, you know, that's the perfect opportunity for the Lord to come through, it's supposed to be hype, you know? But the flesh gonna kick in, man, you see, but that's why we got this word, this truth, man, it's gonna hold us up. You see? Uh, it's like he said, above all, taking the shell of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery dots of the wicked. Come on, man. This is gonna hold us up, man. You ain't you go what you think you gonna target practice with them little ARs I got, man. No, nah, we gonna need faith, man. Hey, faith gonna get us up out of this, man. Faith then you have about some outside, man. That's cold. You see what he say? Verse 17, and take the helm of the salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of the most high, man. Come on. This word, man, this was holding us up. A 18, praying always with all prayer and supplications in the spirit and watching there too with all uh, perseverance and supplications for all saints, man. You see? So this word going to hold us up in the times to come, man. That's why you got to get it, man. You got to get it while it's hot. Get it while it's rolling. While the, while the food's still on the table. Because once it's gone, it's gone. And you're going to have what you got, man. You know? Baby, man, Lord, willing to edify to the elect to those seeking salvation through our Lord, Yahweh Shai. Always giving all the glory and praise to Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rahakadash. Lord, willing to this video. Shalom.